I always wonder why do people drink alcohol. It takes me back to an iconic movie called Deebar, shot in the mid 70s, starring Amitabh Bachchan, Shashi Kapoor, and Parveen Babi. It's a very iconic scene where Amitabh Bachchan and Parveen Babi are sitting in the bar, and uh, she makes an observation that why are people drinking alcohol in that bar? And she says, someone is happy and celebrating with friends. That is why he's drinking. Whereas someone is alone and sad. That is why he's drinking. Someone had a great day at work, so he's celebrating with his colleagues. Whereas somebody had a bad day at work, so he's drinking to take care of his bad day. Somebody is happy and drinking. Somebody is sad. Drinking can be found with so many different reasons. But today, I will try and emphasize on why you should not drink. Now, imagine you are at a party with a drink in hand, feeling on top of the world. Imagine now if that drink came with a label that read, "Warning." This beverage may increase your risk for cancer, liver disease, and even cognitive decline. Would you still take that sip? We often enjoy alcohol socially, but what it really does to us is actually unknown. Hello, everyone. My name is Dr. Sanjay Arora. Welcome to my YouTube channel, where I help you unburden your health. Today, I'm delving into the effects of alcohol on our body and with a focus on how it overall impacts our health. The government actually restricts consumption of alcohol to those below 21 years of age. But strangely, in India, this age ranges from 18 to 25, depending on the stage. Do you know in Goa, if you are 18, you can legally consume alcohol. However, I see many young adults consuming alcohol way too early in life. And that is why it's important for me to share what you might not really expect about your health. So let's start with your gut. Our digestive system is where the alcohol straight away gets inside and it plays havoc with the trillions of bacteria that are part of our digestive system. And these bacteria have a vital role in digestion, in immunity and our overall well-being. Alcohol actually disrupts this balance, a condition called dysbiosis, where there's a balance or imbalance between good and bad bacteria. There is good bacteria and there is bad bacteria. The alcohol actually creates an imbalance, making more of bad bacteria. This imbalance causes inflammation inside your intestine, condition known as leaky gut. This leaky gut allows toxins and undigested food particles to enter into your blood. And this triggers an immune response. A condition called as autoimmune conditions can be triggered. Now, what is autoimmune? Autoimmune is basically when the body creates antibodies to its own self. Normally, the body produces antibodies to something which is outside. But here, because of this mechanism, the body starts fighting against itself, condition called as autoimmune disorders. Right next to the intestine is our liver. The liver is the main organ that detoxifies or cleanses our blood. And when it comes to alcohol, it is primarily metabolized or cleansed in the liver. Chronic consumption of alcohol can actually overwhelm the liver. The capacity to detoxify can be affected. And this leads to conditions like fatty liver, where there is too much of fat deposits in the liver, hepatitis, which is actually inflammation of the liver. And eventually there's a condition called cirrhosis. Now, cirrhosis is a condition where live tissue is replaced by scar or dead tissue. And this severely impacts the functioning of the liver, a condition which is called as liver failure. The reason why we drink alcohol actually is because of the impact of alcohol on our brain. What it does initially, it removes our inhibitions. That is why we feel that sense of elation and sense of joy. But over a period of time, this action on our nervous system, which is like a depressant, slows down communication between the brain cells. And this can result in impairment of judgment, memory loss, and even coordination. That is why we find that, you know, sometimes you find difficulty in walking, in maybe driving, or even speaking. It is well known that long-term alcohol or long-term use of alcohol can lead to severe memory loss and something called as cognitive impairment. Simple things like being able to speak clearly, being able to remember. You, know, you might find conditions which are actually seen in people above the age of 80, where they're not able to remember, they're not able to walk, they're not able to even touch their finger to their nose. So things we are seeing with people above you know, the age of 75 or 80. This cognitive impairment is seen because of alcohol. 
The impact of alcohol on our mental health is already well known and profound. Unfortunately, as I mentioned earlier, alcohol is used as a coping mechanism for stress and anxiety and these conditions get exacerbated over time. Because of this, alcohol can become highly addictive and regular consumption can lead to physical dependence. I've actually seen this in patients who even if they wanted to were not able to take themselves away and because they got withdrawal symptoms of alcohol. And I've seen this upfront and personal. Alcohol is also now being associated with increased risk for several cancers. It directly affects our DNA, increasing the likelihood of mutations. The mutations are changes within the nucleus of the cell and these changes eventually lead to cancer. Cancers of the mouth, throat, our intestine, the esophagus, the liver, breast are some of the commonest linked cancers due to alcohol use. Should alcohol bottles also carry warning labels similar to those of cigarette packs? The idea is of considerable importance debate among health professionals and policy makers and many advocate that it will actually empower the customer to make better informed decisions about their health. Ireland is known for its alcohol, especially Irish whiskey. Ireland has been a trailblazer. In 2004, it became the first country to ban smoking in indoor places, bars and restaurants, policy that was adopted worldwide. Alcohol now is going to be coming with a warning label in Ireland from 2025. Now, can this be a path-breaking change for the rest of the world as it was in smoking? I hope it is. Beyond the well-known risk factors of alcohol, there are some other less known risk factors like I mentioned earlier, risk of accidents and injuries, higher likelihood of engaging in risky behaviors, disruption of our sleep patterns is well known. Now, considering all these factors, is it really worth consuming that alcohol? Is it really worth taking that one drink? In conclusion, I believe while alcohol is deeply ingrained in social and cultural practice all over the world, it is essential to recognize that it has profound impact on our body and especially our health. As a doctor, I urge you to prioritize your long-term well-being by listening to your body, staying informed and making the right choices. Remember, your health is your most valuable asset. Take care of yourself and make decisions that promote a healthy, balanced life. So until next time, stay healthy, stay well informed.